not him, right? But anyway, now if you think about it, it troubles you, right? Chemical sensitivity? All right. Now think about it again. Does it still trouble you? Yes or no? Um, How about the rest of you? Yes. Huh? You still troubled by it? I, I'm only troubled by it after I take them and experience Well, I'm talking about right now sitting here. Okay. I'm going to do the status of baseline and trouble you, right? Now, this is still trouble you. Not right Well, then you change, right? Okay. Now, it troubles you to, to be tired, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. What you need to do is not relax your butt so much. Okay? Now, why don't you just tense your body, okay? Now, you should tense your body without anybody to see you tensing, okay? Now, how about the rest of you do that, okay? Just tense your body without anyone seeing you tense. Alright, now tell me how that feels when you do that. Good or bad? Bad. Okay, if it's good, then why are you not doing it, right? When it's bad, see, I got, I got an answer for both sides, right? It's just like a partition, right? When it's bad, it's when you need to correct it, right? When it's good, then you're not doing nothing with it, right? So some of you feel good and some of you feel bad, right? Yes? Yes. And you feel bad, right? Yes. So you can't even tense your body. It's that like your heart don't tend, you be dead, right? So tension relaxation, we as human beings don't get it right. We think we always want to relax, right? Let's relax, right? You relax your heart like that, you won't be alive, right? You follow? The basic principle, a lot of smart people don't get it right, right? If they're too smart, they don't get it, right? Because you have to get back to the basic principle of tension and relaxation. And that's also an effort involved, okay? If you relax too much, you be flat on the ground. You can't even sit like that, okay? You have to put some effort to be sitting like that. And the effort, everybody thinks it's tension that they don't like. Now, don't get it right. Now, let me just trust you for that. Now, don't do some deep breathing on us, okay? That's a lousy exercise to do. Use paper, don't breathe at all, and survive, okay? Wouldn't that be better? You don't have to breathe? <laughs> then do deep breathing, right? It's a dumb exercise, right? Let's do some deep breathing exercise, right? And that's a, let's do some relaxation exercise. You don't need to relax, you need to tense more. That's really what it means, okay? Now, now do the tension again, it's what it feels like. Don't close your eyes, you tense, you don't want anybody to see you tense. That's how animals tense their bodies, right? You tense, you don't see them tense. Because their tension is the same rhythm as their heart. And that's why they're in such a great shape, right? We don't need to go to the gym and work out, I mean? You just tend to relax, okay? Now, how does that feel when you tense it? Um, how does it feel after I stop tensing or while I'm tensing? Well, um, it kind of feels the same. It feels the same, okay? If you feel the same to you, that means your perception is no good. So we need to improve your perception, okay? Anyone else can perceive the change? That means you have to speed up your perception. You don't want your perception like two days from now, right? It has to be right now. Otherwise, you make me look bad, right? Now, let's increase your perception or improve your perception. Make it faster, more complete. You're not going to be distorted by other people's perception of you and your perception of others. Is perception going to resolve all your problems? That's why you need to be taught and trained and be corrected so you have good perception, that you have all the answers. You're able to get into the answers that nobody else has. Now, tense again. And what's that feel like? Same with it. It feels different. Okay, now does it feel like energize you? It feels more... Do uh, you have more energy now? When you get all mixed up, when you tense, you say you more relax, right? When you relax, you're actually more tense. <laughs> it, uh, it, yeah, it felt more relaxed when I tense. Now, when you feel like you, you come more alive now, you tense? I, I actually can't tell. You can't tell. Alright. I can't tell that. But you were tired before, now you're still tired? Yeah, I think so. 
Don't think so. How do you feel? Okay, okay now. I feel tired. Let's improve that for you. Okay, you just keep tired in your eyeball. That's all. Okay, now. Let's increase your energy in your eyes, in your brain, in your spinal cord. Okay, now your fatigue. Um, tingling and... What's that? I said that I'm tingling and the feeling that I had that somebody was pushing on my third eye with their thumb kind of stopped. Well, I mean, you're not going to go to third eye there, okay? That's where you age the... Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, how do you feel about energy? Because you question about your energy here, right? It feels okay. It's better than before, right? I would, I would say so. See, the trouble with you is that when you have too much energy, you don't like somebody just put you to work, right? Now, just when you have a lot of energy, somebody's just going to put you to work. You okay with that? Yeah, I'd like to work a lot more, actually. No, I'm talking about people force you to work. Let's say you force you to work out in the field. Okay? How do you like that? Yeah, that would suck. Right? So that perhaps you've got to go, right? Now, who else bothers them to work out in the fields? Well, you get the sun can and nothing else, right? So, all right, keep on, right? Now, you have to be strong to those experiences and give you those experiences. Those are your spiritual experiences that have been around with you from the ancestry and have been around with you for like thousands of years. Okay? Time to get rid of it right now. Okay? We need it. Now, that's when you see the whole picture of what's going on, right? Not making a bunch of excuses. All right? Because excuses doesn't change you at all. Okay? It doesn't shift you at all. But those are just not true, but they say true, okay? Now, how do you think about uh, working out in the field now? I'm actually okay with that concept. Right. So, very poor, you don't want to have any energy. If you have energy, that means the next thing you're going to do is going to be working out in the field. Right? you rather be tired and stay at home, right? No, I really wouldn't. Well, that's what you say. But uh, you don't know your subconscious, your non-conscious self, that's what you say consciously. Now, that's too dirty if you don't even know what's going on, right? And that's the problem, right? Now, same thing with, let's say, this knee joint problem, right? Now, Glenn, you get up, you have a knee joint problem? Okay, just get up and see if you have it. Okay, all right. Now, you think you have a knee joint problem, but you don't. If that was true, you would be out there, right? So you got off your right knee, if anything, it would be your right elbow, okay? And your left fingers, okay? So I'm just gonna stretch your right elbow and left fingers. Okay, now get up again, see what you do. Is it good? bunch of story about your problem and it doesn't change you actually make the problem worse if you don't get to the right reason why you have a problem by getting the wrong answer you actually have more of a problem right